Hello and welcome to the People's Third Simmons Check and Simmons Package Update as of January 30th, 31st, 2021. I apologize to my viewers in advance for not being here for the past few days. I have been under the weather, but I am feeling a bit better now. And I wanted to give you guys the, the most information that came across my ears and eyes. So to start off with, we have... Um, Wow, I put the wrong date on this one. <laughs> My bad, sorry. <laughs> so the week ago, uh, it looked like there was some momentum behind the impeachment trials of Donald Trump. Well, it looks like the um, they're actually going to be switching over to try to do some do their their focus on the stimulus packages instead of impeachment trials because, as I'm sure you guys can pay attention, a lot of stuff is going going wrong. The guy that wore that um, headdress with that, that <clears throat> face paint on in the Capitol is now testifying against Donald Trump because Donald Trump basically let him rot in jail and the prison didn't have organic food for him. As well as also, from what I've heard, Donald Trump's whole legal team has decided to say they quit. So they're going to try to push back the impeachment trials for at least a few months and try to concentrate on stimulus. And it looks like 80, 18 million doses of the code vaccine at least have basically been misplaced or lost in the distribution process of getting it out to the people. Because apparently um, the states aren't required to report um, how much of the distribution process has actually, how much of the vaccine they've actually gotten out to the federal government, which is a mistake. So they basically can't figure out where these 18 million doses are located in the United States because of the whole the whole snafu process of the states not reporting it. But no one knows where to get uh sorry. They said no one actually knows, knows where to get that yet. The, uh, the Biden administration said that they would release weekly reports of the COVID-19 data so basically their 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 whole thing is going to be a lot more in graphic is going to tell you how many people were tested how many people were tested positive which counties and you know the usual stuff but just a bit more graphic and more detailed the republican senators are opposing the stimulus bill so president biden says he is ready to actually pass it through the reconciliation process which would basically only require the Democrats to vote on it with Camille Harris. He also admitted that the reconciliation may be the best way for the American people to get their current, um, to get some money out to the people. Josh Hawley said that Biden's actions are very dangerous and is and basically not, is, was pursuing the far left agenda and he opposes them. But of course, we also know Josh Hawley is one of the people who helped incite, incited the insurrection at the Capitol along with uh, Ted Cruz. So we can't really take his word for it because Josh Hawley and Ted Cruz are now marked as traitors to the United States. Dr. Dr. Fauci said that uh, the coronavirus for children would be coming out in the next few months. That's pretty good. They said they're going to start testing on them testing on kids that are 12 years of age or younger in the next few months. And if that works good, they can go to nine years of age and, and younger to that point and see how it goes and release the vaccine for the kids when they can actually make sure it's been approved. Biden has tried to gain the support of the uh, Senate Republicans, but the Republicans are standing strong on the topics. And the main topic they're standing really strong on is the fact that they do not want to go and take the minimum wage up to fifteen dollars an hour. They want to keep it at seven twenty-five an hour. So even if you quit your job and or or got fired from your job or laid off from your job or something like that, and you had to get a new job, you'd be starting at seven twenty-five an hour instead of what you're actually really worth. And I hate to say it, but these the Republicans don't see that including the federal minimum wage up to fifteen dollars an hour is actually a good thing for the people. It'll help us out a lot. Because seven twenty five an hour for beginners is one thing, but for a seasoned professional or someone that actually knows what they're doing, seven twenty five uh, seven dollars and twenty five cents an hour is marked a slap in the face. 
So we need to actually reform these senators to let them know that what, what they're going on is actually wrong. Senator Rob Portman says that the plan needs to be more targeted with things that are more actual emergencies. He doesn't see the federal minimum wage being increased as an actual emergency. He's more referring to stuff that has to do with COVID relief, such as the vaccine distribution, as well as stimulus checks to the people. But we'll see what he says when more future information comes available. But until then, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Have an excellent Saturday. And now we'll broadcast again. Oh, wait a minute here. It's Sunday. Oh, my gosh. Oops, sorry about that, guys. <laughs> I traveled backwards in time. My bad. <laughs> yeah, this shows I'm human. But until then, you guys have a wonderful Sunday. And I'll broadcast again to you guys hopefully tomorrow. If not, to that, I'll broadcast on Tuesday. So you guys have a wonderful Sunday and an excellent evening. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,